Now, one of the other issues of contention missiles and placement of other military assets around the world, it's an issue I talked to Jonathan Pollack about. He's the director of the Brookings Institution's China Center. I asked him what he sees as the most important component of these talks. Well, I think that what's most important is the institutionalization of this dialogue and the ability of both sides to understand that the agenda can't be static. It has to be responsive to events and opportunities. Uh, and it has to sustain a process that goes on in between these annual meetings. Uh, if you can't do that, then a lot, any momentum or progress will be lost. Uh, earlier this week, I talked to a former State Department official, Kirk Campbell, and he says that this is the most complex relationship for the United States. It's, uh, it's, it's an, a strange one in that there's cooperation and competition. Now, earlier today, Admiral Samuel Locklear was asked about China, but it was framed differently. Do you see China's military as, as an op area of opportunity, or is it a threat? Let's listen. Uh, I look at them as an opportunity. Uh, if the opportunity is not realized, then as it would be with any other, any growing military, it potentially, you know, could become a threat. But I certainly view it and approach it as an opportunity. Uh, that's really the, 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 the only best path forward. So, uh, Jonathan, your thoughts on that? Well, I think Admiral Locklear is capturing, in some sense, the, uh, the, 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 the dynamic of this relationship. On the one hand, arguing that there are clearly areas where their cooperation is possible, even in the security realm, but recognizing that if, if that opportunity is frittered away and is not sustained, we could find ourselves on paths that would be something that neither society, neither country, I believe, seeks in an active way.